All right, everybody, good evening and welcome back yet again. What we got in front of us tonight is about a 2.2 pound tri-tip. Uh, if you look at it, you can kind of notice that the grain runs this way here and then it runs this way here. So when you slice this thing up, you slice it like this. And then when you get over here, you kind of slice it like that. You slice this thing against the grain. Um, real easy to prep this thing up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take some olive oil first. Not a whole lot. Just a little bit. I'm just going to rub the whole thing down. Flip it over, get that other side. The rub we're gonna use tonight is we're gonna use uh, some more of my favorite brand lately, is this uh, Suckle Busters. This is the uh, 1836 Beef Rub. I uh, haven't tried this stuff before. Uh, I should say I have, but it was like on a steak and then I think I had it on like some potato salad and it was really good. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and go on fairly heavy with this. It smells really good and you know, like for me, like a good beef rub needs to have, you know, a lot of pepper in it. I can definitely see the pepper in here, which is a, which is a good sign. And flip it over, get the other side. And that should be about good. We'll go ahead and pat this in. I'm going to throw it in the fridge as the grill's coming up the temp. And uh, I will pick back up when we're down at the grill. So we will see you then. Alrighty, so we are down at the grill, cooking in the 22 and a half inch rubber kettle tonight. I'll give you a quick peek at the tri-tip. Uh, we're using a slow ones here. I got the dripping griddle in there. I have three chunks of oak and I have three chunks of pecan. The chunks of oak are on top of the grate. The pecan is actually in the water trough. Um, when I use the slow ones here, sometimes I'll use it that way. Uh, I think it works really good. And then uh, I got the dripping griddle under there too with about a beer and a half poured in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this thing down. Uh, we're gonna reverse sear this tri-tip. Um, and for the first part of this cook, I'm gonna try to hold the grill. It's gonna be pretty easy, but I'm gonna hold the grill probably under 225 in the first part of this cook. So now besides that, I'm gonna sign off here. And uh, yeah, I will probably pick back up in about an hour or so. So see you then. Alrighty, so we are back. We've been on for about an hour and a half. Uh, internal temp on the tri-tip right now is at about 115. Give you a quick peek. There she be. Um, maintaining temps right around, you know, it's a little higher than I want, about 225, 250. I got some nice bacon wrap asparagus in there too. What I'm gonna go ahead and now do is uh, I'm gonna pull the tri-tip off and uh, I'm gonna open up all the vents, get this thing nice and hot, and I'm gonna sear this thing right on the slow and sear for about a minute and a half aside, and then uh, bring it back upstairs, let it rest and eat. So I will probably pick back up when I'm searing this thing off. So we will uh, see in a little bit. Alrighty, so we are back and it's time to sear this tri-tip off. Uh, the grill right now on you know, the temp probe side is at about 450 degrees. Um, I could show you what the Weber kettle's reading right now above the slow ones here. Yeah, that's hot. That's really, really, really hot. I'm gonna go ahead and sear this tri-tip off. We're gonna let this go for about a minute, a minute and a half aside, and uh, yeah, I'll probably pick it up when I'm flipping it, so we'll see you then. Alrighty, we're back, but about a minute and a half. Let's go ahead and flip it, if I can do it. Oh yeah, looking really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this down for about another minute and a half, and uh, I will pick back up when it's time to eat. So we will see you then. Alrighty, so we are back, and it is time to eat. Real quick, I'm going to cook times. Um, this was about hour and 15 minutes, hour and 25 minutes, right at about 225 to 250 the whole time. Seared it off for about a minute and a half aside, brought it up to an internal temp of about 130, brought it back inside, and put it under foil, let it rest for about 20 minutes. And uh, this is the final product. You can see it's really juicy. So let's uh, go ahead and take a few slices here. I'm just gonna cut that off, but yeah, let's go ahead and take some slices. Go ahead and slice some right here too, the opposite side of that grain. One more slice here. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. Oh yeah, that is looking uh, really nice. Let's go ahead and do a taste test here. There that is. Mm. Yep, that Suckle Busters rub is really, really, really good. Um, definitely tastes the smokiness from the oak pecan. Uh, but uh, before I sign off here, uh, I just want to say a big thank you to all you guys and girls. Uh, my channel hit 2,000 subscribers about, you know, three, four days ago. 
and uh, just you know thank I cannot thank you enough you know I am doing a giveaway uh, it'll be next Friday um, if you haven't found me on Facebook yet find me on Facebook but for those of you who are new here uh, make sure you like my page make sure you tap that subscribe button and uh, hit that notification button too so now besides that I'm gonna go ahead and eat you guys and girls have a good night and we will see you next time